Okay, how about Rumpelstiltskin today? There was once a miller who was very poor, but he had a beautiful daughter. Now it once happened that he had occasion to speak with the king, and in order to give himself an air of importance, he said, I have a daughter who can spin gold out of straw. The king said to the miller, that is an art in which I am much interested. If your daughter is as skillful as you say she is, bring her to my castle tomorrow and I will put her to the test. Uh oh. Accordingly, when the girl was brought to the castle, the king conducted her to a chamber which was quite full of straw, gave her a spinning wheel and a reel and said, now set to work. And if between tonight and tomorrow at dawn, you have not spun this straw into gold, you must die. Thereupon, he carefully locked the chamber door and she remained alone. There sat the unfortunate miller's daughter, and for the life of her, did not know what to do. She had not the least idea how to spin straw into gold, and she became more and more distressed until at last she began to weep. Then all at once the door sprang open, and in stepped a little man who said, Good evening, Mistress Miller. Why are you weeping so? Alas, said the maiden, I've got to spin gold out of straw, and I don't know how to do it. Then the little man said, What will you give me if I spin it for you? My necklace, said the maid. The little man took the necklace, sat down before the spinning wheel, and whirr, whirr, whirr. In a trice, the reel was full. Then he fixed another reel, and whirr, 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 thrice round, and that too was full. And so it went on until morning, when all the straw was spun and all the reels were full of gold. You can ask your mom to show you what a spinning wheel looks like. Immediately at sunrise, the king came, and when he saw the gold, he was astonished and much pleased, but his mind became only the more avaricious. Avaricious means he really wanted a lot of money. Greedy. So he had the miller's daughter taken to another chamber full of straw, larger than the former one, and he ordered her to spin it also in one night if she valued her life. The maiden was at her wit's end and began to weep. Then again, the door sprang open and the little man appeared and said, What will you give me if I spin the straw into gold for you? The ring off my finger, answered the maiden. The little man took the ring, began to whirr again at the wheel, and by morning had spun all the straw into gold. The king was delighted at the sight of the masses of gold, but was not even yet satisfied. So he had the miller's daughter taken to a still larger chamber full of straw and said, this must you spin tonight into gold, but if you succeed, you shall become my queen. Even if she's only a miller's daughter, thought he, I shan't find a richer woman in the whole world. When the girl was alone, the little man came again and said for the third time, What will you give me if I spin the straw for you this time? I have nothing more that I can give, answered the girl. Well, promise me, your first child, if you become queen. Who knows what may happen, thought the miller's daughter, but she did not see any other way of getting out of the difficulty. So she promised the little man what he demanded, and in return he spun the straw into gold once more. When the king came in the morning and found everything as he wished, he celebrated his marriage with her, and the miller's daughter became queen. About a year afterwards, a beautiful child was born, but the queen had forgotten all about the little man. However, he suddenly entered her chamber and said, now give me what you promised. The queen was terrified and offered the little man all the wealth of the kingdom if he would let her keep the child. But the little man said, no, I would rather have some living thing than all the treasures of the world. Then the queen began to moan and weep to such an extent that the little man felt sorry for her. I will give you three days, said he. And if within that time you discover my name, you shall keep the child. Then during the night, the queen called to mind all the names she had ever heard and sent a messenger over all the county, country to inquire far and wide what other names there were. When the little man appeared the next day, she began with Caspar, Melchior, Balthazar, and mentioned all the names which she knew one after another. But at every one, the little man said, nope, nope, that's not my name. The second day, she had inquiries made all around the neighborhood for the names of people living there and suggested to the little man all the most unusual and strange names. Perhaps your name is cow ribs or spindle shanks or spider legs. But he answered every time, no, that's not my name. On the third day, the messenger came back and said, I haven't been able to find any new names, but as I came round the corner of a wood on a lofty mountain where the fox says goodnight to the hare, 
I saw a little house, and in front of the house, a fire was burning. And around the fire, a most ridiculous little man was leaping. He was hopping on one leg and singing, Today I bake, tomorrow I brew my beer, the next day I will bring the queen's child here. Ah, lucky tis, that not a soul doth know that Rumpelstiltskin is my name, ho, ho. You can imagine how delighted the queen was when she heard the name. And soon afterwards, when the little man came in and asked, Now, your majesty, what is my name? At first she asked, Is your name Tom? No. Is it Dick? No. Is it, by chance, Rumpelstiltskin? The devil told you that! The devil told you that! shrieked the little man, and in his rage he stamped his right foot into the ground so deep that he sank up to his waist. Then, in his rage, he seized his left leg with both hands and tore himself asunder in the middle. Ugh. The end. That's it. So what do you think? Seems like her dad shouldn't have lied, right? About her being able to spin straw into gold. That seems like a place where things first started going wrong. What else happened? And then she got stuck, right? She had to give him a ring and then promise her first child. Good heavens. So anyway, hope you liked that. See you next time.